I'm going to show you how to tie a boat on your car. We slip some pipe insulation over the rails to protect the wood. Now we're going to put it on top. This boat weighs 16 pounds, so it's not heavy, but it's awkward unless you grab it in the right spot. And the exact midpoint of the boat is just forward of the seat. So you stand on this starboard side, reach across, and you should be able to deadlift it like so. Walk over, put it on your car, and you have a second person, have the second person hold on to the boat. Because these boats are so light, the wind will blow them right off a vehicle, so. Either have your webbing handy so you don't have to reach for it, or have a second person hold on to the boat. You're going to secure the the boat with the webbing. The tail, the end of the webbing, goes through the buckle. You hold the buckle open as far as you can get it. You run the tail through the jaws and you let go and it's not going to move. You throw the tail over, you throw the buckle over. When you throw the buckle over, make sure there isn't anybody standing. Because the buckle could smack them pretty good, so be careful with that. All right, there's the buckle. There's the tail. Notice, this is important, the one piece of webbing goes over the boat twice. All right. And you position the buckle maybe 10 inches up from the roof rack. I like to put a few twists in the buckle so it doesn't whistle when you get on the highway. All right. Buckle up about 10 inches. Tail going under the rack. You hold the jaws open, you feed the tail through the jaws. All right. Then you hold the jaws open just a little bit and pull on that tail. You can't hurt the boat. There's, I, <clears throat> you can't pull too hard. You're not going to hurt the boat. You got to have two strands go over the boat. So you have a total of four. If you don't, you've done something wrong. So go back and reevaluate. All right. We got two tails left. This is what I usually do. Take one from the bow. Thread it through the stern and pull it. That'll make it even tighter. All right, do the same with the other one. Thread it through. Now, this you would think would be enough to secure the boat and normally it would be enough but once in a while it's real cheap insurance to tie down the bow of the boat the front of the boat and i really urge you to do it because it gives you three points of attachment if something happens to your rack if something happens to your webbing 
you're not going to lose the boat. It's cheap insurance. Let me show you how to do it. All right. Now we're going to tie the hood down. We're going to use these hood loops. It's a piece of webbing attached to a piece of plastic. When we put them under the hood and shut the hood, drop one in there. Let's drop one in there. All right. See, they're just laying there. And we're good to go. You can leave them there all the time, or you can install them whenever you want to go paddling and transport a boat. It's up to you. Next, we're going to take a piece of rope. We're going to feed it through the loop and tie it with a couple of half hitches. I tie a little knot at the end so it can't slip out. One half hit, half hitch, another one, and that's fine. Then I'm going to go up through the loop in the bow of the boat. See, it's a black cord. through the loop go over to the other hood loop run it through you could tie it here pull it tight tie it here with some half hitches which is easy that gives you something and you could take the loop across like this and tighten it, get a little triangulation like that. That's one way of doing it. A better way is like this. This is called a trucker's hitch. You go halfway up on your line, pinch it together like so. See, it's pinched together. Then take, take the loop tie it around itself pull it tight that gives you a nice loop to take the tail of the rope go through the loop and pull it tight all right now you have Secured the bow, you, the boat's tied in three different places. It's pretty much guaranteed it isn't going to come off your car unless you take it off your car.